should be live. Gonna work on a piece for somebody to ship it out. Uh, I gotta get this. So one of the pieces I sold last week on Friday, he wanted it to be cleaned up so there was no natural turning so he can watch it, <clears throat> so he can watch it turn. And I figured, that's cool, I can do that. Big Silver Bullion, what is going on, JK Pioneer, hello. Your packages went out today? Everybody's package went out today? <laughs> It only took him like 15 minutes to do all that. I had 15, no, 16 orders that had to go out. <clears throat> but uh, I'll send tracking numbers when I get done with this. But um, got it done. There was only one that didn't go out, and that's because he wants me to clean it up a little bit more. The Statue of Liberty had some natural turning. And he wanted it, he, he likes watching it turn. So I'm cleaning it up for him. I think it looks pretty good. I think I got it. Pretty clean, but I might try to get a little bit more in there. But, uh, yeah, he wanted it to be perfect. And then he was even talking about he might dip it. And I was like, well, I probably could dip it in the E-Zest or e -Zest or whatever the hell you pronounce it. I have um, Silver Cleaner, too, uh, but I haven't used any of that stuff. One of it is, it's, it's in a red bottle, and it's pretty much the same thing, I'd imagine. It's like for rings, though, and you could take the little cup and, like, dip it down in there. So, I don't know how great that stuff works, but. Big Silver Boy, and thank you. Appreciate it. I wrote a COA up for it and put it in a bag, and it came with one of those little black drawstring bags. I hooked you up with one of those, too. So, yeah, that was the first trade I've ever done, so that was cool. I want to, I do want to pour another one of those, so we might get one of these done pretty soon, because that other one is just a little bit off. I mean, I filed it down, so it looked pretty good. The toning ended up being amazing on that, didn't it? Kind of almost had like that yellowish kind of tint. It wasn't quite like copper. It was a little bit more on the yellowish side. I thought it was pretty cool. Invisible River Ranch, hello. Your package went out. I will give you a, and as a matter of fact, I need to go back and watch that video because I could not remember who won, but I think it was you. I'm pretty sure you won the extra round. I, I did a live last night and everybody that got a pour from me, I had that love and luck round. It had the heart stamped on it and the four leaf clover stamped on it. I gave that away last night and I'm pretty sure it was you that won. You didn't have to be there. It was just me trying to throw an extra something in the bag for somebody. Rhonda, hello. You're late. I'm late. I said I was going to go on at 2, and here it is almost 3. <laughs> I told her earlier I'm going to be late for my own funeral. Actually, that might not be a bad thing. But anyway, yeah, I wanted to show you guys a few things and, and see what you guys think. I got stamps, right? I had to, to draw this on there myself. But I have different stamps. I'm definitely going to use this music one. And I've used the skull before. And I might do some leaf. Like have a round where it has like leaves. I don't know. That might not look all that great. But if you guys see anything you think would be cool and you have an idea, let me know. We can try to do something with it. Now, when I did that heart, I got these. So I have all of the signs. So if anybody gets a heart, I can stamp your sign and hers or his sign on the other side. So that's a cool piece we'll work on at some point. That's probably gonna be, you know, next February, January, February, I'll start getting into that kind of stuff. And then I got these weird things. It, there's so many like weird ones, but I wanted that plane because I was stamping something for silver planes. And I figured some of the other ones are cool, but yeah. 
The butterfly might be cool. I know people are into butterflies. I love deer, so that'd be cool. Could make the uh, hunting round. <laughs> but these are just weird ones, man. I like this, and, and this is, there's some cool ones here. But I do like this arrows, too. Do a thing where I have, like, five of these going around, around or something. But a cactus? Like, why a cactus? <laughs> it's so weird. Snowflakes? Uh, okay. I guess if you were doing, like, a Merry Christmas round, you could have a snowflake on it. I don't know. Just curious if you guys saw anything that, that you like. Or want to see something stamped at some point. I'm not great at stamping, but... That's why we're doing these lives, so I can practice doing things like that, and we can figure it out. I remember that well, thanks. You, you, you were there, or watched it. Is that what you're talking about? Alrighty, hello. Big Silver Boy has been trading for years. Yeah, me and Big Silver Boy did a trade. He traded me some pieces I could melt down for that uh, pistola, the Glock. You like the butterfly? Dough meat is best. Yeah, I, I've I've taken many doughs. I'd almost rather take a dough because there's something about cutting the balls off of something I'm just really not into. <laughs> I always feel terrible that I'm doing that, but you know it's got to be done. But I'd rather gut a dough to be honest. None of it's fun, really. Gutting an animal really kind of sucks, no matter how you look at it. But the more you do it, the easier it is. I can get it done pretty quick now. That's what I'm going to do one day. I want to show you guys all my deer antlers. I got a decent amount stacked up now. I took a sick of deer back when I was probably still a teenager. Which is, it's like a Japanese deer, and it's real dark. It's like almost like black looking. And it's all, it, it pretty, pretty much hangs out in the marsh over on the eastern shore and that's the only place they are and I think the story goes a few hundred years ago there was a real rich dude that lived somewhere around Baltimore or something like that and um, he was bringing over these exotic animals for his wife because that's like what she's into well the boat sunk and they swam, swam to the eastern shore and so now there's sick of deer over there and it's in the elk family and they actually kind of bugle like that too at night it's crazy it sounds awesome but but yeah, I've taken a few of those. I got a four point buck and they only get to about a six point. And then I've taken a doe. Yeah, I think it was one doe, one buck. The doe, these things only get to about a hundred pounds, right? Like soaking wet, hundred pounds, like they're small deer. And um, after I gutted it, it weighed 126 pounds, a female. She had about three inches of fat. Like, she had this much fat on her ass. It was crazy. Never seen anything like it since. Jeff Crumpler, thanks for joining. Yes, I'm having a good day. I got everybody's stuff shipped out, so that's a, a weight off my shoulders. I felt bad because I wanted to have everything out yesterday, and uh, it was just a little more... Took me a lot more time than I thought, man. I, I probably have 24 hours, straight 24 hours in getting everything ready, making sure everything's right, putting things into the piles, packaging it all up, you know, just taking care of everything. It took me forever. I started at 10 last night, or about 11 probably, whenever I got done with that live. And I went till 5 in the morning. So that was just the packaging part. <laughs> So it was a lot of work, but man, and I, I am going to have to change the pricing because there was nothing that was five bucks. I got one for six sixty-five. I got one for five forty. 
585. So I think 6 was a pretty good um, place. 555, 615, 650, 540, 555, 555, 7, 540. Well, I guess some of them are, are below. One was 1040, and then the other one, I knew it was going to be 1040, but one of them ended up being about double. But it wasn't too bad. I figured, I, I, I think I was thinking about 80 bucks was going to be total for shipping, and it was $90.55, so I wasn't too far off. But I think we'll do $6 shipping and $10 for the bigger box. You know, I'm not making a whole lot of money, but I'm putting stuff up for $35 an ounce. I'm not making a whole lot of money there. So it's like all the time that it takes to do this. You know, I got to at least be good with the shipping. You know what I mean? But I appreciate everybody, man. It was it was a good time. I, I tell you, I haven't felt like that since I got off a of stage when I was in Cleveland, Ohio, DJ and my biggest party I've ever done. And... uh Went back to the hotel and couldn't sleep that night. That's how it was that night. It was like I just did a show. It was crazy. There wasn't a whole lot of like battling and, and, and craziness going on. But sometimes there was. And uh, it's just really cool to see that happen. When it's your art, you know. Like I have, I have a, a crazy love for it. It's not just something. I'm not doing this because I want to make money. I'm doing this because I love the art. Just like music. I love making music. Because I'm into the art of it. But um, if you're passionate about what you love and, and you do it and you show that you're passionate about it, people will see that and people will want to to hang out with you and uh, buy from you. So that's my mentality right now and we'll see what happens. Invisible River Ranch, yeah, that's what I did, the little black envelopes. The problem is with those, they're kind of small. I might have to get something that's a little bit bigger. They're just a little bit on the small side. If I had something that was like an inch bigger, it'd probably be better. Like, because those bags were like this. I can get something, you know. I think he said six inch squared is what you have to work with. But it's tight. It was hard to get things slid down into it. Like those big Ike dollars that I sold. I had to put those into a bigger bag and just fold the bag over, which didn't make it all that more expensive. He said, I think it's 12 inches for like the $10 thing. You go from six inches to 12 inches, I think. Keep it clean. Gift that keeps on getting. Jeff says I had to come in and hit the like button. Hey, I appreciate that. Seven stacks, hello. A natural high, yes. It's been a lot of years since I've had a natural high. And it was like that. For sure. Like, I think I'm addicted now. <laughs> it was a show, just a different stage. You're right. Almost everyone has gone to six. Rhonda, what are you saying? Like starting time? Or, oh, shipping. Duh. Got you. Yeah. That's what I'm going to do from now on. All the world is a stage. Yes. That's how I've been living my life. Like this is my movie. And I can create my reality. You know? There is some science to that too. But you can be anything you want to be. And you put your mind to something you will make that happen. That's what this life is for. That's why we're here. To experience, to learn. You know, I live every day like that. I try to be grateful. I thank God every day for my mind, my body, my soul, my health, my family, my family's health. Every day, that, that's just, I try to, to have that, I say it out loud. I said that out loud in the stars. I was looking up at the stars because I'm always looking for um, shooting stars. And I said that the other day 
And I'd be damned if a shooting star didn't go across the sky. And I've had some other stories when it comes to shooting stars. I had one shoot across and then another one shot across like it made a cross. Right after I was begging God to, to save me. I was in a dark place dealing with grief and just wanted to get through it. And I'll be damned if he didn't put a, a cross in the sky for me. Live your dream. Don't dream to live. Exactly. You have to want it, for sure. God is great, most definitely. And if you thank God every day for what you have, only better things will, ha will come. So anyway, yeah, we're cleaning this up for, um, oh, what's his new name? I, I didn't even realize that that's who it was. Um, mistakes were made. I'm trying to clean this up a little bit more for him. And I don't want to dip it, although I probably could, but I think this will be clean enough. He said he might dip it anyway. So this is the only one I got to get out. Damn dog is outside on the deck because he wanted to go running through the woods. He hasn't done that to me in a while, but my daughter took him out when she got home. And he took off in the woods. She comes back and I'm like, well, where's the dog? I don't know, he won't come back. <laughs> I had to yell for him and he came right back. On the butthole. Damn dogs. Yeah, the problem is, is you can't, I can't get into that. I guess it's almost impossible to get in there. So it was hard to file that. I had to take a Dremel and get down in that. But yeah, that's what shines them back up. I mean, there's a lot of things you can use, but I like using this. Sometimes though, if this if this was a bar and I was going on it, it'll it'll look one way if you do it like this, and it'll look another way if you do it like this. And it's real easy to to get it kind of scratched looking. So it's kind of a fine line. Stuff like this, you don't really see the scratches so much because it's you know it's a shirt really, a robe. It's real easy to have it go a little hard in one spot and then look ridiculous. Man, I can't. And I always wear safety glasses. Safety first when you use these. I've had these things fly off and hit me in the eye, and it is not fun. But this one's to fog up on me, so it's kind of a pain in the ass. See that little spot in there? I just I can't get to that. That's the only spot. So what are y'all doing today? Anything good? Anybody partying this weekend? I think I have a wedding to go to soon. Those are always fun. Last time I was at a wedding, I was best man. And then he passed away on me. Sucks. Both of my friends passed away and I was best man at both of their weddings. It's hard losing the ones that we love. But they wouldn't want us sitting around feeling sorry for ourselves and wishing they were here. We'll see them again. They would want us to continue, especially my grandmother and grandfather and stepdad. They would want us to live our lives to the fullest. So I'll get at the comments in a minute. I just want to get this thing ready for tomorrow. I'm fogging up so bad I can barely see what the hell I'm doing. Good Lord. <laughs> well, I kind of went away by now, but 
But yeah, this is a good one. Next time I do this, I covered the holes on this one. All three of them, because that's how I was pouring back then. I covered the holes with a piece of metal. And I think that was bad. I think I'll get a little bit better detail in her face if um, I don't cover the holes. So that was a learning curve. Damn, I'm really behind here. Jumbo Lopes? What is that? There's that loop. Loop is two O's, right? I'm so bad at spelling and reading. I'm dyslexic. It's kind of just one of those things. Silver dust. I collect all of it. That's why I always use these little. I got the stainless steel surgical. I got a three pack of these. And um, I just, whatever I file, I do it over this and I collect it and put it into a thing and save it. Terry's wood burning. Hello. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you guys. Everybody here, how many people we have? 11 people. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Monkey King Metals, hello. Good luck. He says, I'm on my way to an interview for a job. Good luck, monkey. Hope you get it. Just be yourself. Be yourself. Tell the truth. That's my advice. Tell them you're a, you're a fast learner. You might not know how to do it, but you'll figure it out. You're, you're a quick study. <laughs> Called vent for a reason. Thank you, Rhonda. You know, you are so smart. <laughs> smart ass. That's funny. That kind of stuff on their talkie. You talking about the trade secret? What did I tell something? It's the nails. What do you have? Some uh, two inch nails? I seen this girl that had nails that were out to here. Why? That is crazy. Kasha Stacker, what's going on? Harbor Freight Special. Yeah, I, conscious, I bought, I bought one of those cheap ones. It's like a little, it was like this big and you plug it into the wall, but it came with all these attachments. That's why I bought it. But then I realized that it's smaller than this. So I have to use that if I use those, but, um, but yeah, they got some great deals and they sell the Dremel stuff too. I picked up a few things from them. This is the one for the Dremel. See that littler one? That that's one of the ones I was talking about. But these th these were cheap. I got a I got this, but I got a whole another set with the Dremel. It's not a Dremel, but you know, with the whatever the hell you call it, um, for the same price as what these were. <laughs> but these were definitely cheaper there than anywhere else. 
and they're good. They don't wear out. I'm good, Terrence. Wood burning. How are you doing? I didn't really have much of a plan today, but I keep saying I'm going live every Tuesday and Thursday, so no matter what, I'm going to be here, even if we're just shooting the shit. If anybody has any questions or wants to talk about anything, feel free. I might try to pour something at some point. We'll see what happens. I wanted to pour one of these. I think I might do this at some point. I'm going to pour this for Rhonda for helping me out. What do you think, Rhonda? What if I pour this in silver? For being the greatest moderator ever. It would be cool to be like, sold. I know Ravenhawk has one. Coin Crew has one too. I remember Big Red Bullion did that for him. I forgot what that thing weighed. It was like 20 ounces. Terry is your son. What are you worst at? Question of all time. Reading. Probably reading. I'm dyslexic. It's tough. And then comprehension of reading too, because a lot of times I'll read a paragraph and then all of a sudden realized that I was thinking about something else the whole time. And what the hell did I just read? I guess that's more of the ADD side, but. <laughs> I mean, I can't, I'm not worst at that, I guess. I can read, it's just, I'm slow. Because I have to look at every single letter and just, you know, I don't know. And I like to switch stuff from left to right and backwards. That's why it's hard for me to remember numbers. Does anyone have a back scratch yet? You know, as soon as I read that, my back started itching. What the hell? Would have dipped it fast and easy? Yeah, I have some. I have this stuff that's in a red one too. And then I have silver cleaner. I don't know how you use it. I think you just put it onto a rag and rub it in and then clean it off. But um, I think it looks pretty good. I mean, there's that one little spot, and he can dip it if he wants. He said he could do that. But I just, I wanted it to be like he wanted it. Going in the package. That's the only one I still got to ship out. And I got to pay. Man, I can't believe it's like, what is it, a hundred and... Shit, I don't even remember. But it's, it's a lot of money to have a P.O. box. It's kind of ridiculous. A bowl with aluminum foil, add baking soda, and add boiling water. Swirl a little and tone disappears instantly. Is that what you were talking about, the trade secret? <laughs> Hey, come here. Get your car. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a picture of that. Cause I've heard that before. He's so pissed he wants to come out. Yeah. He wants to come in so bad. Look at this little guy. I hate how nasty these freaking... No. Later. Look at that guy. It's a chocolate lab mixed with a Springer Spaniel. I think the dad was a Springer Spaniel and the mom was a lab. Chocolate lab. That's pretty good. I mean, $20 for driving a forklift, I think that's awesome. 
when I started out, when I was working in a warehouse, and I just started working, now keep in mind, I'm 44 years old. But when I first started, I was 19, I started at that place, driving a forklift. I made $7 an hour. <laughs> $7 an hour. Crazy. And then eventually I got up to 10 bucks an hour, but... And eventually even more than that, but because I did every position there was in the place, really, but... <clears throat> Sorry if I missed any comment. I'm trying to go back. Charles Latre, what's going on? Appreciate you stopping in. Try to get doing something at some point. I like hanging out and just talking with you guys though. Yeah, Rhonda did all some conscious. She was on point. I think what I'm going to do whenever I go, whenever I do an auction and I'm trying to do a giveaway, I need to make sure that I type in, pick a number, one through 100, go. And then when I come back, type stop. That's something I need to make sure I do. And I'm pretty sure Rhonda was doing that too. And um, John did that. But I think that's something I should be doing since I'm doing the giveaway thing. I need to make sure I do that. I do want to change that part of it. And then I think I want to try to have lot numbers, too, to keep everything easier for me and easier for you. If you're watching and you see this is lot number one, this is lot number two, you're going to know if there's something that you want, you're going to want to be there in the beginning. Or if it's something that's going to be at the end, lot number 25, you know. I think I want to keep it limited to a certain amount of packages going out, too. Like, I'm going to stop at a certain time, so it might be kind of hard to do that. We'll have to figure it out. I don't want to ship out, like, 40 packages. The cool thing was there was a lot of – there. I had two full pages of, of sales, but there was quite a few people that got multiple pieces, and so that worked out. So two full pages turned into 15 different people, and then the 16th was the trade. But, um, yeah. All things silver, what's going on? You held it? Yeah, I think it was like 20 ounces, if I'm not mistaken. That they asked that in the interview. Oh, it's freaking light for real. I'm gonna have to go get another light because I think it sucks when it's like that's off. I never charged the other one, but look at the battery. These things are amazing. It's a 60 volt in certain tools. Or it's 20 volt because this light is actually a 20 volt but it'll last forever because this is a six amp hour battery these things are amazing if you get a chance to get these now if you were doing like what is it? if you had like an impact wrench this is a little bit heavy because you're going to be moving it around all day and using it but i use these in the chainsaws i have a nine amp hour too that's the one that's yellow they actually make a 12 amp hour. I think that thing costs like 250 bucks just for one battery though. But these things are awesome. So if you got 20 volt and you get a chance to get a good deal on one of those, get it because they last so much longer. It has the light on there. You can push the light and it tells you how much you got left. That one still has some power, but it starts blinking at a certain time. Let me catch up on these comments before I go out there and then we're going to do something. Uh, 
not the size of the tool, it's how you use it. Yeah, I don't know. I know, conscious. I, I understand now. Hey, I'm slow, man. All things silver says I have to read a page three times to know what it just what I just read. Yeah, I'm the same way. That's the ADD. Charles, don't apologize. It's all good. There'll be another one. I'm thinking the fifth. I think the fifth will be a good day. That's another Friday. And then after that, I might just start doing it on the first, no matter what day it falls. That way, it's always on a different day. You'll know at the first of the month, Cap's doing his auction, you know? And I'm not stepping on anybody's toes too much. I don't know who goes live on, goes live on a Friday. That's why I tried to do it, because I didn't think that there was too many people doing it, but... I know a bunch of people probably have to, but it's, you know, I haven't been at anything on a Friday in a while. I know Plumber was on Saturdays, right? And Big T is on Monday. See, I didn't want to step on Big T. That's why I didn't do it on the first, because I've been over there so many times. I haven't been over recently. I did stop by the other day and say hello. But um, I've picked up so much stuff from them back in the day. And, uh, you know, they're good people, so I, I don't really want to step on them either. But I'm always going to be stepping on somebody, right, no matter what. So if I do it on the first, it'll always be in a different day. But then I might be pissing a lot of people off over time. <laughs> I guess there's no really, it doesn't matter either way. It is what it is. There's enough to go around for everybody. <laughs> Rhonda says, you're excused this time, but you need to know. You will have, um, I'm going to send you guys an email. Everybody that got something, I'm going to send you guys um, a tracking number. So I did go today. This is everything. Except for... This package will be going out tomorrow because I wanted to make sure I had time to clean it up good and get it the way he wanted it. But when I get done with this live, I'll go through and I wrote everybody's name down with the address and zip code, you know, on the bottom part, you know, like the bottom part of the address so that it should be easy for me to go through and, and find everybody's email and boom, have it done. But yeah, I'm going to be able to. It's going to take me a little while to get to that. So this afternoon, it'll be done. It'll be done by the time it gets dark. In Maryland, anyway. The wall is G. Gangsta. Yeah, Charles, I did a preview video showing some of the stuff, but it was kind of like, I might put this up, I might put that up. I showed the pores that were going to go up, but, but yeah, I think it'll make everything a lot smoother, and then I can just kind of have things here and there. We'll say, like, break from lot numbers, and I'll throw in a couple, you know, things that I think people would want, or if somebody asks for something. We'll just break in lot numbers and, and do a couple things and then come back to the lot numbers. Like I said, you know, I, I'm, I'm a newbie to all this, so this is a learning process. But once we do it a few times, I'll figure out what works best for me. And then from here on out, it'll be a certain way. <clears throat> Sixty-eight cents for gas. I wish it was. Big Silver Boy, and I started off at eight twenty-five an hour. I started off at six dollars an hour when I was washing dis dishes at fifteen years old. Six dollars an hour is, I think, the cheapest I ever made. 
And then when I went to work for that warehouse, they started paying me seven bucks an hour. It didn't take me long to get to, to 10 bucks though, because I, I busted my ass. I swept floors like nobody's business. <laughs> That's what I started doing, sweeping the warehouse. And then I ended up being the shipping manager. Then I was a driver. Then I was in tool repair. So I would fix all the nail guns and air compressors. And then after five years of that, I went to sales. And that basically was the face of a multi-million dollar company for about 11 years. And then when COVID hit, they said, eh, we don't need you no more. We got a, a guy that speaks Spanish and we can pay him less. I'm sure that's what they were thinking. He's a good dude, though. I wish him well. I like that guy. He was the only decent help I got. It's messed up. You, you finally get some decent help after 10 years of being shit on and not getting no help. I'd have like 15 people up there and nobody would help me. And then I, I would ask for help sometimes and they might come up a half hour later. But um, yeah, that was kind of a stressful place. I forgot what my point was. But I wish him well. I hope he's doing good. Oh, you finally get good help in, and then they replace you. <laughs> 19 people in here. Holy crap. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. I need to go get another light at the shed. <clears throat> in a minute. I keep trying to catch up on these comments, but then they keep going. I remember $1 gasoline. I remember cigarettes were like 2 bucks. I don't remember $1 gasoline, though. It has to have been not that long ago. I feel like I remember like a dollar in some change. I started driving in 1996, I think. I used to go to Votech for computer aided drafting and I was terrible at it. I barely got through that class. Luckily I had some friends that were always there to kind of help me out a little bit when I needed it. but. Um, so I would go to my high school for like three periods and then we would have lunch and then everybody would go to Votech. Well, you would go to lunch at the school and then you would drive the bus to Votech. So I had like an hour and a half in between when, when I had to be, when, when my class at the high school ended to being at Votech, I had like an hour and a half. So we always had like crazy lunches and hanging out and it was a whole group of us because we drove so you could drive up and probably half the time it took the bus to get there. We would go to Taco Bell. We would hit McDonald's just because that was in Edgewater and everything. There's like pretty much everything you want in this one little one mile radius. The good old days, man. That was a long time ago. I graduated in 98. Oh, the oil strike. Yeah, I remember um, people talking about it. I wasn't born until 79. But I remember people talking about it when I was a kid that it happened. Pull names out of a hat. Yeah, Conscious, I did that last night for that extra round. You have to mow your lawn today, Big Silver? Man, check this out. So, I have a zero turn. I was thinking about starting a landscape business. Or grass cutting, maybe not full landscape. but So I got everything to do it. I have a zero turn, 54 inch, and the blower, the weed whackers. I got a DeWalt 20 volt weed whacker that is freaking awesome. I've never even used it though, but that thing is cool. Um, but I, I left it over my uncle's house for a while because he needed to use it. And then I just, I'd left it there for like too long. I should have got it a long time ago. But it wouldn't, it wouldn't start. So you charge the battery up and you spray ether in it and it'll start. So I guess I need a new carburetor. So that's sitting on the trailer. So I got to fix that. Then I go out in the fall. I was going to cut the grass one more time. I was going to chop the leaves up. Go to start that. That won't run either. So I think I need two new carburetors. I haven't really looked at the um, lawnmower, though. I just got pissed off. I was like, well, it's not going to run. Forget it. Put it back in. It's like, I'll worry about it in the spring. So I guess we are at spring. Pretty close. It's been pretty nice out. We've been in the 70s a couple days recently here in Maryland. 
Silver cigars, hello. <laughs> There's snow on yours. Man, my yard finally just dried out. There's still some water in the ditches, but man, my whole front yard like floods. And in the summertime, when it, it can't really go anywhere, or in the wintertime, when it can't go anywhere, and it doesn't get hot enough to evaporate, it just sits there all winter. So it finally just dried up enough. I might have to go out when I get done with this live and get done with the shipping, go rake my, my yard up a little bit because I can't just chop the leaves up. I got to finish getting all the leaves up. But, um, man, yard work is therapeutic. Anybody else think that? Like raking some leaves or cutting some grass, it's just very therapeutic to me. All things silver just got done cutting grass. Stop doing that, man. Every time I try to scroll, it brings up. Oh my God, this is really aggravating me. There we go. Three thirty-five, dang! Back in the eighties, J.K. says my last minimum wage job was pumping gas for three thirty-five back in the eighties. Then he got a job for six fifty and thought I was rich. Yeah, man, I remember going from six dollars to seven dollars. I was like, yes. And then when I went to ten bucks, it was like, oh man, I'm living big now. Start getting high test in my car. <laughs> Less taxes, that's for sure. Garita, hello. You graduated in 94? I should have graduated in 97, but I ended up graduating in 98. I was young, I, I didn't pay attention much. It was very hard for me to pay attention. You got a battery power weed eater? Yeah, man, I got two of them. I got the Black & Decker, which I love because it's light. I also have a Echo gas powered, which is awesome, but it's gas powered and it's heavy and it's, it's really hard on the back if you use it for a long time. Um, but that little one, man, it's a little 18 volt and I bought like six extra batteries just to have them in case they discontinued it. But it's a little red, black and Decker. And that's pretty much what I use. I got a, like six of the, the spools that you can put on. The spool doesn't work very well. You always have to pull it back out and cut it and it's a pain in the butt. But I love that thing because it's so light, but the batteries die so fast. But then I got the DeWalt, but I haven't used it yet because that one still works. And I'm like, well, as long as I keep the batteries charged, which Black & Decker batteries, 18 volt, they do not hold a charge, especially if it's cold. Like you really have to charge them the day before you're going to use them. Because if you charge it and think it's going to sit for a month and then go to use it, it's not going to last long at all. It sucks. These batteries, DeWalt, always hold the charge. That's what I love about DeWalt batteries. You can charge them up and let them sit for a year and they'll still be good when you go to use them. But yeah, I used to sell all that stuff, so I know a lot about tools. If anybody has any questions about stuff like that, tools and fasteners, I used to sell all that stuff. Actually, you know, DeWalt, I, I did so many sales with DeWalt, they ended up giving me, I think it was $1,100 in tools. No, it was $1,400 in tools. They said, we can give you a $700 gift card or $1,400 in tools. And I said, you better give me them tools, please. <laughs> I got the 60 volt, takes this battery, the chainsaw. That chainsaw cuts just as fast as anything gas. That thing is amazing. Got an extra chain for it. Got the nine volt battery or the nine amp hour battery. And I have four of the 60 volts. So I, I never run out of battery. And I have probably at least 10, 20 volt, four amp hour. Yeah, I love tools, man. I started collecting tools. When I when I started working at that place, I started 
collecting tools, and that was 21 years I worked there. Yeah, man, I usually jam tool or death tones or something when I'm cutting grass with the headphones. What did I miss here? Mountain got snow. Dan, you graduated Invisible, Invisible River Ranch, graduated when I was born. Acknowledged you yesterday, Garita. Is it Garita? I want to make sure I'm saying it right. I saw you yesterday and I just said hello today. I'm really behind on these comments. I'm sorry, I don't want to upset you. I always try to acknowledge everybody. This thing keeps kicking me back though. It's kind of weird. More I made, more I spent. That's, I mean, that's life. Yeah, it's expensive living in Maryland. I can tell you that much. Everything is expensive. Have I ever melted down computer fiber boards to get gold no I've kept a few of them because I was thinking about trying to do that at some point but I don't usually go that far usually what I'm doing when it comes to recycling is I'm trying to get copper so that I can do copper pours um, but yeah I actually have a TV I was gonna take apart because we had to get a new TV I had lightning hit the tree outside of my house and it messed up it, basically the refrigerator just stopped working so we had to get a new refrigerator insurance wouldn't pay for it because the refrigerator was 20 years old tell me how that makes any sense well you there I guess they were trying to say well you're about due for an upgrade anyway we're not paying for it but electricity is what burned everything up I had two light sockets I had two three ways that it burnt up the expensive ones they're like 70 bucks and then um the tv had a line in it forever then i go to turn it on one day and it shocks me so i go i go to touch it it shocks me and then once that happened it had like a big it was like a bit just a big black smudge going all the way across this so we ended up getting a new tv which was 10 i think it was 10 yeah i think we had a, a 55 inch before and now we have a 65 inch so we ended up upgrading for way cheaper. I spent $1,300 on a plasma 42 inch back in the day when the big screens, when plasmas first came out, $1,300 for a 42 inch. You can buy a 42 inch for like 150 bucks right now. <laughs> it's crazy. TVs have come way down. That's one thing that I can say about the prices. That, that's one thing that came down. 21 years is a lifetime. Yeah, tell me about it. Tell them that. They didn't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, Seven Stacks knows. I think it's a little bit cheaper for you over there. It seems like whenever I go over to my dad's, it doesn't seem like everything is so as expensive as it is over here, but it's still bad. I, I wouldn't mind going to Delaware living in Delaware man because there's no sales tax that'd be pretty awesome do you go seven stacks you go to Delaware often to buy stuff yeah I know you got to refine it Gadita, you got to get you you got to re refine it and I know that you you do one thing, get the stuff. Put that 
into another thing, get some more stuff. And then you take that and melt it. <laughs> it's like not, not an easy process. And I don't know anything about chemicals, so I've never tried to do it myself, but I know it can be done. You can still make money off of them though. You can send them to a refiner or recycle them. And I, I'm pretty sure that those places do take that kind of stuff. You all think silver, I agree. I've heard that you gotta, you gotta have a lot of it for it to amount to anything. Yeah, all the little copper spools, that's what I do. I take all the little copper spools out. I take the cords and, and, and rip those and get all the copper from it. And then I made a bunch of bars out of it. I made some shot with it. By the way, if you ever try to make shot, don't use a plastic bucket. That doesn't work very well. I thought because it was a full five gallon bucket, it's gotta cool down by the time it hits the bottom. But uh, yeah, not always. <laughs> use metal. I actually do have an old metal one I can use now too, which is cool. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get this battery. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be right back. Hold on. What the hell did I do with that? Get back to that one. You stay. You stay. You good So this is that battery I was talking about, the 18 volt with the Wee Whacker, awesome. But I got a bunch of these to go with the um, 60 volts. Love 20 volt anything. But um, I got a couple pieces while I was out in the shed because I wanted your opinion. Now I'm gonna make a big, a bigger flask, but I really wanna do this 50 cal but you can't even fit it in there. So I'm gonna make a new flask. I got a welder, but I've never used it. Hey, get in here, get, get back. Cat was trying to escape. I got a welder, but I still gotta use it. I got a Lincoln 140, I think it is. It's an awesome machine, but I gotta figure out how to use it. And then I have this little fight club. You can see I tried to do it before, but all the sand wants to come out 
but I think I did it this way first. So I might try to push it in the sand. That might be better. I'm thinking about doing a copper Elmo because in silver, this will be way too much. That'd be expensive. We're talking hundreds. And then I, I found these pieces. Like I like this one and just press it down in the sand. So obviously it's not going to be thin like this, make a thicker one, like two or three ounce. I'm not sure about this one, but this one's kind of cool too. This might be some British stuff. I got that at the Halloween shop, but yeah, I'm going to do a new flask. That's probably about You say it's probably about like that. So that'll fit nice. At some point, I'm gonna get that done. I might try to work on it this week and set it up and just go for it and see what happens. I mean, even if it looks like crap, I can always grind it down. And what it is, it's a, it's a couple L's. So like I have, this is a part. And then this is a part, so I have to weld it here and weld it here, and then I have to weld something. I made some extra pieces, so it'll be like a, a square, really, that's going to come down on each side. And then on the bottom, I'm going to have another one so that it has to go in between them. And I think that'll work pretty good. Buying something like that is always expensive. Somebody tried to, was, was selling them that they were making, and it was like 150 bucks, I think. That is just too much for me to spend on a flask. So I'm gonna try to make my own. I did make one out of wood too. But I just feel like the wood, it's all, and it's a big one, it's like this big. But I feel like it's, it's always gonna have a little bit of play. It's hard to get it perfect, and then it's real tight too. So it's like, it is kinda good, but then it's real tight and hard to get like open. So yeah, that's tough. All right, what are y'all talking about? been through three fridges in the last six years? Holy crap. Yeah, I have a refrigerator upstairs, a refrigerator downstairs, and then I have a freezer, one of the deep freezers. Because I try to, I usually kill at least one to three deer every year. So I at least take one. This year I only got one. I only went one time, to be honest. So, yeah, I got lucky that day. I was in the stand for about a half an hour. And a six-point came in that actually, he looked like an eight-point, but one of his racks were a little bit jacked up. I shot him. Missed him. I got light field bullets, and apparently... They have issues. And I remember when I sighted that, I got the barrel, because I have a Remington 870 and I bought a new barrel with the scope on it that's rifled so that I could use that instead of the long barrel I had for, for bird. And uh, when I sighted it in, I was sighting it in and I was right on for a while. And then all of a sudden, one went like a foot to the right. Then all of a sudden, another one went a foot to the left. And then the next one was right on. So I thought I took that pack and put the two that I had somewhere else, but I, I, I think they got mixed into my other bullet somehow, and I, I grabbed one of those, because I totally missed that deer. I was, I've never missed a deer. Not, especially, it was like 30 yards away. There is just no way. So I get down out of the stand. He, he jumps because they scared him. He didn't jump like he got hit. A lot of times they jump up and they'll kick their legs, and he didn't really do that. He just kind of jumped and turned the other way, and then just walked off. And I was like, there ain't no way I just missed that deer. So I wait for him to get out of sight because I'm in the woods and I wait for him to get over this little hill. I jump down out the stand. I go over and look to see if there's any blood, no blood. I'm like, there is no way. So I left all my stuff in the stand. The only thing I have with me is my shotgun because I'm in Maryland and uh, PG County is where I hunt and you have to have, you have, you can't use a rifle. You have to use a shotgun. Um, and I'm right on with this sucker, man. I, I've never missed a deer before. And I just, I couldn't believe it. So 
I start stalking him. And so I come up, I get to a place, I see him, he's walking away from me, but he stopped. And so I find the little tree to rest my gun on, and I start like, meh, meh. like I don't even sound like a deer, but that's what I was doing. Meh. <laughs> And he just kept looking around, but he, he never turned around. Well, eventually, after like five minutes, he finally turned around and started walking straight towards me. He never even gave me a chance to have like a broadside shot. He just did a 180 real quick and started walking towards me. So he gets to about 30 yards, about the same as my first shot. And I'm like, man, I don't know what happened in the last one, but hopefully this bullet is good. I shot him in the chest, and I usually don't take that shot, but it was a perfect hit right through the heart. He ran about 15 yards, and that was it. But, yeah, that, that would have been a nice eight-pointer, but he messed up. A lot of times what happens is they'll step on something, they'll hurt their foot. As the antlers are growing, if they hurt their foot, it'll mess up the other side of the antlers because I guess the, the blood cells or whatever are going to the injury instead of to the horns. So he had a little bit of lopsided. And a lot of people think, too, that if they're like that they're always going to be like that no they grow new ones every year and if it's messed up one year it might be fine the next year but um but yeah i was I, i'm not a hunt hunter for antlers i'm a hunter for meat so anything that came along that was older than a year and a half i, I would have taken it and then when you shoot big old bucks a lot of times i'll just make burger out of it because they don't really taste as good I mean, it tastes fine. It's just a little more tough. The older the deer is, the tougher the meat. Obviously, a tenderloin back straps, those are going to be good. But everything else, like I, I shot a six-pointer one year, huge six-pointer. This, this dude was like eight years old. But he only had six points. Huge rack, but it just wasn't very big. Or point-wise, it wasn't very big. But uh, yeah, he was old. I mean, his teeth were almost non-existent. But yeah, so anyway, I, I got the one. So his antlers were a little bit off, but I did a European mount. But I might I might go live one day and show you guys different deer, talk about hunting. We're gonna do some some hunting and fishing videos for sure. Hi, power ride from Delaware, seven stacks. I'd at least be buying my clothes in Delaware. Yeah, I wouldn't want to live where it's where there's snow on the ground six years out or six months out of the year. I don't think I would want to do that. It snows here, but I'm kind of on the line where a lot of times it'll just rain. I'm like right on the line. I'm pretty close to Washington, D.C. It's about a half hour away. Maybe 40 minutes. But, uh, yeah, we're just, we're right on that line. A lot of times from north of me, we'll have snow, and south of me, we'll all be rain. You like keeping magnets out of speakers? Yeah, me too. I actually had a 15-inch powered speaker that the um the the horn that was on it or the tweet no yeah the horn the horn would vibrate really bad and i had these old pioneer speakers that were just they sounded amazing but they just kind of looked like crap and then they ended up dry rotting around the they were these were 12 inch and you know around the the speaker you know how it moves back and forth it, it dry rotted and i turned them on one time and poof, it just blew it all out now, you can tape them. You could take duct tape and tape them, and they'll sound good, but they'll look like shit. But uh, I did that for a while, too. I used to have a lot of house parties. When I was DJing, it seemed like at least once a month I was having some kind of house party so I could practice and have people listening. But, um, but yeah, I like to, to grab magnets out of them if I can. But, yeah, I put a new horn in that thing, man, and it sounds so much better than it ever did originally. It's a gem sound, which isn't a name brand, but it has that, that tweeter in it that just, man, it was all bass and it, it's powered. So, you know, it's a, a pretty expensive speaker to buy. If I was to buy that same thing in like a JBL, it would probably be a thousand bucks for one of them. 
a 15 inch powered speaker but yeah man that thing's awesome you can if you if you do a party or something you can take that by itself and it, it's good enough it's good enough for a house party but yeah i had to i had to rewire it a little bit Say, does map gas does map gas get hot enough to melt copper I I tried to do it and it melts it but it doesn't like I had a cup I had a cup that's like this but you know obviously different but um it melted it in it but I couldn't get it to like pour it like it wouldn't move so I might try it again to see what happens but when it when it when I stopped, it, it ended up sticking to it. So then it pulled off all of the, um, uh, what's it called? The, the, the stuff you coat it with borax. It, it pulled the borax off of it. So it's kind of one of those things where I don't want to do it cause I don't want to screw anything up and I have a gas furnace. So, but, um, I use, now I use two, so I'll use a map gas and then I'll have a regular propane. That works pretty good, but it does take longer. If you use two map gases, it, it takes no time. I mean, it's still, you still gotta wait. It's not like instant or anything, you know, it takes a little bit of time, but I have one that is on it here. I can show you actually. I got, oh, that's not gonna work. See, it's sitting out the one that's on a stand. The screen is kind of messing it up, but there's one that's on a stand and it's always you know, facing down. And then the other one I hold in my hand. So I'll have two on it just to make it faster but map gas is really expensive and I found wild pig pours was telling me that uh, he'll use one map gas and then one propane because it's so much cheaper and it does work that's what I've been doing when I did those 10 rounds I was uh, doing it that way see mountains in Mexico I'm okay not too far north uh oh Ron is telling y'all to behave yes it's expensive I think most efficient is them electric things with rings. What are you talking about? No, get off my coat. What the hell's wrong with you? Cat sitting here trying to tear my coat up. What did you put in the Barbie's Jeep to make it two times faster? You need a Ninja Turtle pour to go with all your Ninja Turtle silver bars? If I could find a Ninja Turtle that's small enough, that'd be cool. I, I, I would love to do something like that. I might have to keep an eye out for it to find like a little miniature toy. Because you want it to be about like this or it's going to be really expensive. Like those big ones that they make, there's no way. It, it would just, the amount of silver it would take to do it is crazy. Like even that Elmo I was showing you. Even this is too big for silver. I just don't know if anybody would want to pay what I'd have to get for it. But copper, I think it'd look cool. But yeah, I'll keep an eye out if I see anything. I'll pick it up. Joseph Lopez, hello. Thanks for joining. JK says copper melts at 1,984 degrees. What's silver? Is silver 13? Scuba Steve, what's going on? Appreciate you stopping in. Your package went out today. Everybody's package went out today except for one, and that's because he wanted me to clean this up so it didn't have any of that natural toning on it. 
but everything else went out today. Now, Scuba Steve, when you open that package and, and you, you see that there's something extra in there, never mind, I'm just going to leave it at that. Hit me up when you, when you open that package. Carol, hello. Hope all is well. Appreciate you stopping in. Titanium is 2000. I know gold and copper is pretty much the same. Like, it's not... It's a few degrees. It's not much. But I think silver is... Man, I can't remember now. I had it all written down. But if you can melt something with copper, you can probably do it with gold. Whatever it is you're using. It's just melting it and getting it to a melting point when, like, it'll be in the cup and it'll be melted. But if it's not moving around, you can't really pour it into something. So it, you might have to try to get whatever you're using really hot first because when I'm pouring with the uh, with the map gas and I have the little here let me grab it I don't have the big or the small one this is the bigger one which I've never even used this I got it to look good actually I did use it one time and you can see right there where it's round. That was some copper that I melted and it just stuck in that spot. So I had to redo everything because it pulled it pulled the coating up. But uh, whenever you're melting, you got a torch on it. You got to start moving it around. And it'll get kind of glowing red all where you're moving it. And then you want to get it red up in here before you pour it. Otherwise, it just wants to stick to it. You got to make sure it flows good. That's why I always suggest anybody that starts out, start with cups because you learn how the metal works and how it flows and just, it's, it's really good to do that, in my opinion. That's what Wild Pig Pours told me too, so he agrees. And you guys know he is a professional. He is like the shit. His, pro his pronouns are the and shit. <laughs> Hey Joe, where you going with that gun in your hand? Seventeen sixty three is silver. Oh, I see silver, duh. Yeah. It's definitely not as hot for gold, and copper is around the same as gold. I, I got a bunch of aluminum tabs I've been saving for the past couple years. Something that's probably about as round as that, about this tall. I think I have almost three of them now. So I want to do something in aluminum, and that's probably when I'll use that big wooden flask to make something. I don't know what, but... I'd almost, I kind of want to do something practical, like some kind of connection or, or something that I could use for something. So I'm waiting for something to come along where I'm like, man, this would be great if I had it in aluminum and then doing it. But I don't know, I'm kind of getting antsy and I kind of just want to melt aluminum down because it's fun. I don't think that has to be very hot. Or does it? I don't remember. Like I said, I had all this written down at one point, but it's out in the shed. I wish I could take y'all to the shed, but every time I go down there with the phone, it gets blurry. It's like the connection is not good. The first time I went live, we were up here, and then I went down into the shed. When I came back, it was blurry, and it just would not go back to normal again. So, yeah, I don't know what's up with that. I might have to bring the, the wireless router from downstairs to upstairs, and maybe that'll help.
Oh, you know what I was gonna do? I ended up, I, w I wanted to get everything out today, so I packaged everything up last night after that live stream. It was about 11 o'clock. It took me till five o'clock this morning to get everything packaged up and ready to go. And, uh, you know, double check, triple check, everybody, everything should be good to go. A couple of you, if anybody spent $200 or more, I gave you a $10 gift certificate, good for two years for any poor. It has to be a poor, but any poor. Um, and then if it was like over a hundred bucks, I made sure you got a magnet, the sticker, the magnet, and the button. And the people that have been showing up to all the live streams and hanging out, there was there was a couple little things I put in here and there, but uh, I can't go too crazy with the giveaways because putting it up at thirty five dollars an ounce, you know, I'm not really, I'm not making a killing here, you know. I'm trying to at least make sure that I'm breaking even, you know. I, I mean, I made a little bit of money. I'm not gonna say I didn't make any money, but I haven't went and added up all the silver and what the cost was for everything yet. So that's something I want to do, but I bring this up because I wanted to, I took pictures of everything because I want to start a website at some point. So if you're ever talking about a pour that you have of mine, and obviously you're not going to have it with you everywhere you go, but if you want to show somebody, you can go to the website and pull up your pour and there'll be a picture of the front and back of it. I think that'd be an awesome thing to do eventually. But what I wanted to do, and I totally forgot about it until six o'clock it was about five thirty this morning i got done with everything i'm like i've got to go to bed right and uh i start to think oh man i wanted to take short videos of everything i was going to do a short of every piece i can post the pictures to instagram but i wanted to have little short videos of every piece that i sold and uh i totally forgot to do it it took so long to get everything else done anyway i just i, I really wanted everything to get out Inglehart made Christmas rounds, JK? That's cool. I don't think I've seen those. The cages in your spine was $75,000 a piece in 1990. Damn. My mother has rods and, and all this stuff in her back. And you know what happened when they did it? They, they were taking her from one bed to the other bed and they dropped her right on the surgery she just had on the little metal thing on the side of the bed. They dropped her right on that. She said she had never had pain in her life like when she hit the, that piece of metal. Like that's, man, I know malpractice is hard to prove, but damn, you dropped her right, as, right after she got surgery. That's craziness. I think she should have sued. Yeah, aluminum 1221. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was pretty. That's probably what I was thinking the silver was at first. So I was thinking like 1300. But yeah, I know it doesn't have to be quite as hot. So that should be easy. I could definitely do that with a torch. Not that I would, but if I want to do some smaller pieces, it might be easier. See, the torch and the cup, that that's good for when you when you want to do something exact, right? When I did those the channel rounds. I wanted to make sure that it was an ounce. I didn't want to go an ounce, you know, 1.25. I wanted it to be as close to one ounce as possible. A lot of them were over an ounce, but if you put exactly an ounce of shot in and you melt it down and you pour it, by the time you, by the time you weigh it, it's going to be 0.99. So I always put in 0 0.05 extra just to make sure Sometimes you'll get a little bit that'll stick to the cup when you pour it too. Like you'll you'll go to pour it and a little bit'll stick here. That's why when I'm when I'm melting it, I'm always trying to get it ready, trying to get this nice and hot and swirl it around and then have the torch on it and then keep the torch on it as I pour it. But even that still sometimes doesn't work.
problem, Steve. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Rhonda. I'm going to hook you up. Oh, Rhonda. I'm going to... I'll tell you what. It's going to take me a little bit of time. But I don't know if you were here when I first started the channel, like that first year. I made coasters. And it was like the C. That was when I first did the backwards C. So it has a C like this, a C like that. And it's a stencil. So I drew it on. And then I painted silver and... and uh, and gold and then I had some kind of lacquer or something that I painted over top of it so it's shiny and um, I'll make you one of those I forgot I did those man I signed the back of it that was that was a pretty cool piece only a few people got them but um yeah I think there's only like three of them out there but I'll make you one you know I'm into my crafts that was my most recent craft that was some dollar store stuff right there <laughs> those were wooden C's and then I got those little stamps you can get and stamp the capital currency I could take my finger and wipe it off though it's not very good but anyway I'll make you one of those I don't I never had coasters made up but I might at some point Sticker Mule is always sending me deals. Once I get a deal for coasters, I'll probably get some. But I will make you one of those because I really appreciate you. But yes, I do have a keychain for you. I have a magnet. I don't have a whole lot of keychains, but I got enough to where I can give you one. There was a few people that I sent one to that have been very supportive of the channel and, and spent a good amount of money so there was one or two that I did send out I wish I could give everybody one it's like the t-shirts man I was hoping that they were gonna give me a deal on all the t-shirts but no they only give you the deal on the one and I think it was like 14 bucks or 15 bucks for a t-shirt but I got 10 of them. And so that one was cheaper, but then the other ones were like 20 bucks. I'm like, uh, <laughs> but it's cool. Even at 20, $20, like I like them. I think they're cool shirts. It kind of sucks. Like I can fit one, but an extra large is just a little bit tight for me. But a double X is kind of too big. I'm in, like that weird size right now, but I'll be back to an extra large pretty soon. I'm 6'1", 220 right now, so I'm trying to get down to two, 210, maybe 205. I don't think I want to be less than 200, though. 205 is good, and that's my fighting weight. do gold electroplating with that liquid stuff I don't know I don't know what that buzzing was that was weird I wonder if this freezer is about to take a crap and here it just cut off that was weird I thought I heard something being louder than it normally is hi there Carol how are you doing like the matrix you're the one See, we got this cleaned up, so that's going to go out tomorrow, and then I'll have everybody taken care of. When I get done with this live, I'll give everybody um, tracking numbers. Everything else went out. So anyway, if you're here, what do you think about these? 
Kind of weird, right? Is there any stamp that you see that you'd like to see on something? I want to try to do some kind of stamp design at some point. Those are the weird ones. This one, I like the music symbol. I'm definitely going to make a music symbol round. And then maybe these arrows. And definitely the four-leaf clover. <laughs> you see that that's how they come. This one didn't have one, so I had to draw them one myself. So that, that's my handiwork. But yeah, I like the skull. I like the music symbol. What is that called? A triple clef? Is that what that trip? I don't even know. I don't read music. And then this is for all of the signs for that heart that I did. When I put my sign on one and hers on the other side, and it said, I love you down the middle. John says, I got sidetracked looking at turtle files. <laughs> ATS, man, I still got a, or for ATS, what is that? What was that website? You Didn't you tell me about a website where you can get some free stuff? And then it kind of, it costs too, but there is a lot of free files. The liquid with gold in it? On Amazon, it's like 130 bucks for a quart. Yeah, I've never been into that. I don't know what that is. Never seen it. I don't know, Steve. I was uh, coming on here just... I was running a little bit late, so I was trying to just go live and hang out and talk about stuff and see what you guys were into, try to see what I pour next. Um, we can get into something if you want. Oh, I need to... I want to show you guys. I want to go get this piece because when I did this, nobody bid on it, and I... I really, I could have swore somebody was going to. So I'm going to clean that up a little bit, make it look different. I'll be right back. Let me go grab it. So you guys remember when I poured this, the colors in this look awesome, but I think it's going to look better if I clean this up to look more silver and then leave this around here all toned. So we're going to see what that looks like. I kind of want to, I was surprised that nobody bid on that. That and the Confederate Rider, that was a good one too. It had a little bit of, a couple spots on it that weren't perfect, but. That's how much shot I got left, plus that special stuff that I have, all the big pieces, so. Need to be ordering some new shot here soon. Might as well have some silver hanging out. I'm thinking I might just use this because I, I want to get as close as I can to the edge of this but then I have another piece 
This one too. This one might get in there a little bit better. Make sure I get on the little edges. I want to change it out. Treble, yeah. Treble clef? Is that what it is? Treble clef? Something with a feather. Seven stacks. I have something that I was thinking about doing. Hold on, I'm gonna get that. I'll see if you like it. So look at this, you're gonna laugh. This was a ring that I found. It's like some little cheap kid's ring or something. But I thought that would look cool in silver. It's really thin, so what I was thinking about doing is pressing it down into the sand and then either pouring it open or, yeah, I guess pouring it open would probably be the only way to do it. Unless I could cut this off and then just have it in the sand and when I break it open, just press it, you know, press it down further one way or another, make it thicker. So it'll be almost kind of like a bar. Or I could take a little block of wood and press that down and press this down in first and then the block of wood over it. So it'd be like an actual bar. I could do something like that too. But yeah, I was on the fence about that if that was even something I'd try. You do like that? That's cool. I'll try to do something with that soon. The energy sign that's the, the a right i'm sure we could find something i don't have anything but we could probably find something kansas kid what's going on appreciate you stopping in if everybody doesn't mind smashing the like button for me that'd be awesome we got 18 likes that's cool 12 people hanging out i appreciate you guys let's see what this bad boy looks like though i want to see what this thing looks like cleaned up Why don't we try to do a little close-up action? Bear with me.
What you doing, buddy? Sniffing cat butt? I think it's going to look better with it being silver. And then the tone can just be around the outside. Trying to like let you see it, but it's kind of a pain in the butt at the same time.
hard to get it. Just the skull and nothing else. Trying to get as close as I can without touching that part. Something like that. You think it looks better like that? This camera's really not picking up on how good it looks in person. But I think the eyes being black, I definitely want to try to keep the eyes black. What do you guys think? Where I could just clean the whole thing up to where it looks like this part looks like everything. But I like how it's dark and then almost like a brownish kind of color. That was a cool tint that I got to it, but I wish it had turned that color. I could clean the whole thing up and start over and try to get those purples out of it. Okay, Charles, I'll check it out. Appreciate you. Christopher, hello. Thanks for joining. You like that better, Seven Stacks? I wish I had something that was even more pointy than this. It's like the shadowing, you know, it'd probably help if I turn this up. Table. But I think that's pretty cool. You think the two tone is good or should I just do the whole thing like the skull? Scuba Steve, you like it like this? Yeah, it definitely pops more, Charles. That's what I was going for. Chrome dome. <laughs> yeah, Charles, I was gonna leave the inside of the eyes. Then again, it might make it pop more, but it was hard to get those to turn. Remember, we sat here, I don't know if you were here, but we sat here for two hours trying to figure out toning. I just want everything else to pop. Like, you see how it comes out to here? Like this side, there's nothing really sticking up like that side. So I'm gonna have to try to get this piece a little bit better, but, and over here, I'm just trying to do it on camera. So it's a little bit harder. <clears throat> This camera sucks when it zooms. Sorry. I need to go get a new iPhone. This thing, I'm still using the iPhone 7. I hear that that's old now. Let's try the other one because that might might shine it a little bit better being on a wheel that's sideways. And try this one. Safety first. These things love to go flying.
Oh yeah, that does seem like it's a little bit shinier now. I might need to charge this thing. Sorry if I'm boring you guys. He's a little bit more on that one side. You could always take the brush and tone it too and try to get it like really dark. And like like you like paint deliver a sulfur on it. That's how I did that line yesterday, Steve. Just took the back and just painted it on, let it sit for a while, and then took that brush 
and got the excess off. But I think that looks pretty cool. Might just leave it like this and see what happens on the next go around. I just wish this one little part over here would get a little darker. It'd be cool if I could, if I could get the inside of the eyes that purple. That would be cool. And it does look like it will sit. Eh, it's kind of almost. It's like almost flat there. I feel like it would sit in the eye hole pretty good though. And just put some more in there and just let it sit and see what happens. Or clean it and just start over with it and see what happens. But, you know, in the eye holes. Clean the eye holes out. And then put some liver of sulfur in there. Let it sit for a while. Definitely pops more, Charles said. Invisible River Ranch says, pretty. It's pretty. Christopher says, sweet. G. Christopher, the bias. Is that how you say your last name? The bias? Looks floating. Yes, yeah, Steve, Carol says you gotta buy it. <laughs> it's right up your alley, buddy. No, I appreciate everything you did, man. You got a lot of stuff, man. I appreciate it. The cat flipped out over the sounds. Yeah, mine are all gone too. <laughs> Good contrast, real shiny now. Silver does make pretty colors, especially when you get those purples. Like that that piece that uh, Seven Stacks got, when I had some extra and just poured it into a bar, when we did that, I think it was Thursday, or was that Tuesday? We had some uh, extra because I wanted to make sure there was enough on the, for the sprue to make sure it was down. Make sure the sprue, you know, had enough weight on it to push it down and fill everything in good. But I had too much, like two extra ounces. So I made a little round with it and then toned it. And then I, I stamped the eagle on it afterwards. And so the eagle looked silver because it was an afterward stamp. And um, I think that's a cool look, too, to get those purples and greens and then do a stamp, like some of those stamps I was showing you. That might be cool with that purple. Like the purple and green, that might look good with like a butterfly that's actually silver, and the rest of it's like purple and green. I don't know. I just want to use these for something. They're, they're kind of dumb. <laughs> or even the skulls. Or the music. Or even the leaf. Just doing a bunch of leaves all the way around it. Or have them all coming from the middle. Out. I don't know. We're definitely going to play around with some stuff. <laughs> yeah, it'll be up on the next one, Steve. Yeah, 
Yeah, Rhonda, I was showing her this. This feather. Might try to do something with that. I guess I'm gonna leave this the way it is for now. And uh, maybe we'll pop this feather in some sand and, and see what it looks like. That might not be that heavy too. If it's thin like this, the problem is if you're if you're doing it and it's open, you gotta have a lot of silver. Like it has to almost be like overflowing to make sure it fills everything up, because it's so easy to just be like I'll be missing this little corner right here. I almost want to just rip this off. I might do that. I might rip this off and then grind this little piece down. Let's see what it looks like in some sand. Man, it's so hard not having music playing. I don't know why YouTube's got to be so anal about music. Got a couple cat hairs in here. Nice. I feel like I'm going to rip this thing pretty soon. That's why I like the one where you, you just go like that and it has that little thing that kind of kicks around, a little arm inside of it. Those are cool, but they break off too easy. And these are cool, but Eventually, it'll rip out of here, so. I don't want to press it down too hard if I'm going to try to... Side. I might not want to press it down too hard. It's going to be hard to get it down into the sand. And I want to get it down in there a little ways. Make it like two ounces or better. Maybe we'll do a little bit of a rub. I want to do it more than that because then it's going to be hard. Show me what you're working with. Make him say, uh, nah, nah, nah. Who was 
that? You guys remember that? I think that was mystical or something. Back in the day, the good old 80s. I mean, 90s um, hip hop. If I'm not mistaken. Ah, dang. Uh, shit gets in your hand as a stick fest. I could dump some ammonia down in there in the eyes. See what that does. I don't hear you. What are you doing? TV one or something? Dancing? No, I don't hear you dancing. <laughs> You're fine. You can talk. It's okay. So my daughter is wearing a Nirvana shirt. And I love it. But she doesn't even know a Nirvana song. <laughs> I called you out. <laughs> She'll learn them though, right? I got all the CDs. No, you're going to learn them. She got a thumbs down. You can't wear the band shirt if you're not going to at least listen to a song. Nirvana was my shit. I tried to, to play it for her not that long ago. And, oh my God, it just did not sound as good as it used to. I don't know. I used to love that music back in the day, but I had every CD they ever put out. The Unplugged, that was amazing. But I think the unplugged one is like the only one I'd really want to listen to now. I don't know. It just doesn't hit the same. SGT Stacking, Angry Word Tackle Box. Hello. Thanks for joining. Just been hanging out and talking about silver and pouring for the past couple hours, and now I'm actually messing with some. I think everybody was getting antsy. Did some turning. Let me let me show you that. <clears throat> so we turned this up and then I decided today I wanted to try to make it the skull part more silver. What do you think? You like the two-tone? It's kind of hard with the light to do this justice, but... What do you think? What do you think? I really wish that that color had been on this side, but... I had this sucker. I, I tried to turn this for like three hours all different ways trying to see what would look better. That was a Buffalo Boy in design. He made this. And then that's what we turned it into. This is three nines fine silver. Which is mostly what I do. I do, I do copper every now and again. And I am going to do some gold at some point. Um, but yeah, I've got some gold and I might, Steve, I might try to do that first. I've got some gold that was from a claim, right? So it's like prospecting gold. So it's definitely not 24 karat, but I have five grams of 24 karat too. But before I do that, I might melt down that other stuff. The problem is if it's not 24 karat gold, and I think it is copper that is usually in it, there's going to be other metals in it. It's like a, 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 a gold eagle is not three nines fine or four nines fine gold. It has copper in it. And even the silver quarters and all that stuff, you know, it was 90% silver, but it was 10% uh, copper, I believe. To make it a little bit harder. Because the 24 karat gold, man that will scratch up so easy that's why most of the time jewelry it's not 24 karat because it, it gets too damaged um but yeah what was that gold that you have what what carat gold is that i know you had she was saying that you had something that you wanted to mix or or she, <laughs> what 
She had something that you wanted to melt down and make something else. But we'll talk about it, but I'm just curious what the, um, what carrot was it? 333. Well, you might not even be here anymore. That was a while ago. Help me round. Help, help me round. Yes, Master P. That's who it was. Make him say, na 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 na. ATS knows what's up. You bad about it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened to hip hop, but it's not as good as it used to be back in them days. Ever since Tupac and Biggie died, it hasn't been the same for me. It's just a shirt. Yeah. I told her though, it's like, well, if you're gonna be, if you're gonna have that shirt on, you gotta at least know one or two songs, because what if somebody in school calls you out? Like, how do you even know a Nirvana song? Or, or what's a Nirvana song? You know, she has to be able to name at least one or two. You know what I mean? You know how kids are. I'm trying to protect her. That's what I do. <laughs> you think it will sell? Yeah, I mean, I thought it would have sold the way it looked before, but then again, I think maybe, if anything, I should have left the whole thing silver and not toned it, maybe. Or toned it like I normally do, like antiqued it. But I like this, the, like the yellowish kind of like brown that came out in it. It's different. But man, I really want to get somebody's purples and blues and greens back. Ain't that a bitch. I just bent the fucking thing. Are you serious? It landed right on the fucking edge. It's all right. It could bend back. But I can't believe I did that. <laughs> you fucking jackass. Oh, man. It's always something. We got an error. Yeah, it is a little bit harder to bend back than I thought it was going to be. Uh, man. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn, man. I can't believe I did that. I think it's like a little bit bent now. I'll straighten it out when I get a little more time. I don't feel like somebody's watching. <laughs> I'm not sure I have to look at it. Yeah, it should be stamped with something. You want to melt down a necklace, 14K, to make a U.S. Marine Corps medallion. Gotcha. All things silver, 90s hip hop was the best. Muscle Shell, what's going on? Long time no see, haven't seen you in forever. Sherry Ward, hello. Shit happens. <laughs> it sure does. I ain't too proud to call myself a dumbass every now and again. No filter, lol. Well. I try to, but yeah, I'll probably put it in the vise with a, um, a shirt wrapped around it and just bend it like that. It'll be all right. I just can't believe I did that. I do try to have a filter. Don't type that. She said, I don't think you try to have a filter. Jeez. Everybody's getting on me. Thank you, Sherry Ward. Hit the thumbs up. She had something that was... Put a little bit of this on there. So 
some of the good good on there. So we don't have any sticky long stockings. <laughs> She's looking at me like, what the hell are you talking about? Weirdo. Hey, if you can't have fun in life, life ain't worth living. That's how I consider it. You know, it is kind of cool that you can put it when you're... Well, that's not going to work. There we go. I think this would be really hard to get. What the hell just popped out? Really hard to get the whole thing filled out if I was to do it like this. So, kind of moved a little bit too. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that little piece there. I didn't see it go anywhere. Oh, it must be right there. I mean, I could try to just pour some in there and see what happens. It doesn't look like it's deeper on one side. I think it's just kind of made like that. Yeah, it's a little bit deeper right there. It's a leaf. some of those bigger dowels somewhere but I don't know what happened to them I think I'd have to put like three ounces in there and get lucky to make it fill up. We can try it though if you guys want to. You want to try it and see what happens? I can always melt it back down. I had this guitar, that's going to be way too much, but I need to remelt this down. That would be a lot. But I could fill this up, pour it till it's full. And then whatever's left over, pour a couple little rounds or something. I mean, I do have shot. I could try to make it an exact amount too. Try to make it like an exact three ounce. Because I think this was four something. Let me get my uh, scale.
just say, uh, nah, nah, nah. You can't get copyright strikes if you just sing it, right? I don't even know what that amounts to anyway. You know, I got a copyright strike one time for the iMovie. It's the soundtracks in the iMovie. Like, how the hell? And I've had it in other videos, too. Doesn't make any damn sense. Do it. Do it. Go for it. Yes. All right. Thank you, Rhonda. <clears throat> SGT, you're leaving? Have a great day. I'll got to run. All right, bud. Appreciate you stopping in. You're going to miss the fire. I think three ounces probably would fill that up. This is 3.52. I mean, it's not that much more. And that way I have enough and I can just pour it till it's full and then we'll stop. That'll work. We'll try it out. So my phone should be charged by now. It's a little bit windy today. Kind of chilly actually. It was 70 degrees for a couple days here. Beautiful weather. Then it got windy as shit. I'm gonna need to get something to pour the extra into. So why don't we go out at least. Look at this guy, look at this guy. Ovi, good boy. Set y'all up so you can see everything good. Thank you guys for joining. Don't forget to hit that like button if you don't mind. There's a little bit left in there from the last pour. So say goodbye to the guitar. You know the rest. Man, that's a little, that is a little bit tall. Just gonna bend it a little bit, make sure. There we go, that should be good. Next time it'll be nice. Fire, fire. Yeah, the guitar, Carol, just didn't turn out good. I'm gonna do another one. It wasn't flat. It had a little bit of an indent on it, which I didn't like, so I quit trying to clean it up. But I'm gonna do another one. Because my buddy Silver Scorpion, he has an engraver. It's like a laser engraver, so he's gonna draw the strings and everything on it, which I think will be pretty cool, but it's gotta be flat for that to work, so. I'll do it again at some point.
got to go find something for the access. I'll be back. That's a one ounce. This is some of the smaller ones I have, but they're still, it's not really that small. So if I was gonna do gold, it had to be probably at least in this one for that five gram. But then I have this one too. But that's the smallest things I have. And then that's a two ounce. I need to go get another fire brick. That's the smaller cup. This is what I use to do the rounds. But whenever you come on a table, you gotta make sure that this is flat. So I'll use these to make sure it's all good to go.
gas in that. electric furnace would be sitting here waiting for half an hour probably. Yep, ran out.
no doubt. That gas is over with. <laughs> the dirt just fell right off of it. That was kind of cool. Usually I try to clean it up first, but... This one didn't even fill out all the way. some paper towels. in there so it cools down slowly. Now, that's what I didn't want to happen. You don't want it to stick. Should have did that right away. No, get back. This is all kind of weirded up. <laughs> that's just something that's going to go back in the furnace later. Clean this up a little bit. I like to get my stuff off, all that burnt stuff off first. Get back, buddy. Yeah, it's not as good as I thought it would look. I knew I'd have to have a lot of extra I think I'd have to push it down further to get it to look better. I mean, it's pretty cool, but seven stacks wanted a leaf and I figured, well, let's try this and see what happens. But I don't like the way it sticks out. All these little things I can grind those off. I mean, it's still cool. Try to get everything in a bundle. It's cheaper that way. Danger metals. What's going on? Sorry if I missed anything. I have to get back in the... I can't see very good out here. We can clean this up a little bit and see what it looks like. Let me get this sand. Crap, I never even grabbed that other bed. 
Isn't that cool? I made this out of pallet wood for the torch. Your reward, what do you do with your burnt sand? You ever try to get the silver back out? I hear that you can do that. Personally, I've never done that. Ovi, come. Ovi. don't grab that never grab that <laughs> always wait it's funny there's a whole leaf look at this there's a whole leaf in there all right look at this little girl just joining I turned this and then clean this up so we're gonna put this up in the next auction and we poured this cuz seven stacks was like I like leaves so tried this just to see what would happen it's actually some cheap ring I got from somewhere but yeah I think if I push it further down in the sand it'll fill out and it won't have to go over but it's still kind of cool. I like it. I call it the leaf. I'm not sure if this is something anybody would be into buying, though. I do want to file it and see what it looks like. Or what it weighs. Curious. 
that way we'll know for next time if I end up doing one. little bit deeper in the sand and I'm thinking this might look cool if it's a bar and, and glue this to a piece of wood or just stick this first and then the piece of wood so it makes it like a bar but I, I can probably use some tools and take the wood exactly to this to make it like a bar or see how it popped out around the sides make it to where it's out like a bar like the whole thing's a bar and this is just on top of it I think that would be cool. That's probably what I'll try next. If you're into the leaves, the leafuses, the leaves. When you do it open, man, it just, it burns forever. It takes for a while to, to solidify. I was trying to see if we could get any ripples out of it, putting a torch on it. I've never done that before. That was just me trying to see if it would do anything. I'll get to the comments after I weigh it. Can't run it through the tumbler, see what it looks like. Oh man, I just screwed that all up. It's not even worth dealing with. It's all dirty anyway. Never mind. I wish this would fit in that. I need to get one just a little bit bigger so I can just throw that down in there. bad boy ways curious what do you guys think I'm guessing it's probably gonna be around three two point eight nine I'm gonna guess two point eight nine That's cool, Scuba Steve. Are you posting videos?
<laughs> it's your reward. Amen. You can waste your breath by trying to tell me what to do. But it will be a waste of your time. I promise. <laughs> Be nice to have the wide screen. I'm sorry. I just like that I can make shorts out of this. It's a little easier. I might start doing that though. Rhonda. Oh, that's an idea. I could bring the guitar out and the amp. And while we're waiting for it to warm up, just jam out some. Jam out some power chords. <laughs> Fire in the hole. Liquid lava coming up. Danger metals. I said hi, we were out there. I don't know if you heard me. Thanks for stopping in. You don't know if all things silver says, I don't know what to get first, a furnace or a metal detector. How about get a metal detector and don't get a furnace, just get a cup and a torch. Then you can do both. All you need is one of these. I would suggest a smaller one. Get a torch for map gas and one of those little things I had outside. It's relatively inexpensive. For under 100 bucks, you can get started doing pours. Saw that. What'd you see, Daniel Metals? What'd I do? Yeah, it's your reward. I melted that guitar because it, it wasn't flat, and I want to get I want to send it to uh, Scorpion Metals. He's going to engrave it. Or not engrave it, but you know what I mean. Use the laser and draw all the lines on it. So he can take a picture of this. And then have his laser just engrave the whole thing and do the lines and everything. I thought that would look amazing. But it was a little bit, it had a little indent right here. By the way, how do you make that not happen? It seems like that happens more and more. I don't know what to do to make that not happen. Even, even this piece had like a little dent right there. Like what can you do to make that not happen? Does anybody know? And don't, don't drop them like I did. <laughs> it's a little thin. Hot night's coming. Uh-oh, Muscle Shell. What are you getting into? Or should I not ask? Yes, buy both things. Danger Metal agrees. I got a place I'm gonna metal detect at. There's a um, there's a state park they just opened up not too far from my house, and uh, we take the dog there. He loves it. We're always like exploring, and uh, there's like a place where you can walk down this long road, and when you get to the end, it's almost to the bay. Well, there's like a little inlet of like a river that comes through and just winds around, and you can fish right there. So anything that comes in or goes out has to go through this little river but once you get into where the the park starts it's it's huge it's like a big old just a, a huge pond really but it's the bay so it's pretty cool i've never fished there before but we're definitely going to try oh no i did fish i walked down and fished that little um spot and i caught a couple croaker but um i'm thinking some rockfish might be up there pretty soon I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that for sure. But anyway, what's the point? Oh, when you first go in, there's a building, an old building that's cement, right? Cinder block. And it looks like it's gotta be 100 years old. And it's right, it's like right on the water. It's like just a, a little square house right on the water. The water's like right here and it has a big open door. And then there's a thing that goes along the top. Like, like there was some kind of hanging bucket or something that they would get stuff off the boats and bring it up 
to the horse and buggy or something. I don't even know if there was cars that this thing is so old. But uh, very cool place. And I'm thinking I could even tell where there was an outhouse at one point. So if there was any kind of sales going on there, right? If somebody was bringing something from a boat, you never know. There might be some, some silver dollars laying around. So I'm definitely going to take the metal detector there. I'll probably try to do some kind of recording when I do that. Make a video out of it. I don't know if I can live stream there, but... You're going to request the, you should, Steve, you should definitely request a furnace for Father's Day. I would start with these though. Learn how the, the metal works, how it feels and just, you know, it's very inexpensive. And then you can get an electric furnace, which is good because it'll be an exact temperature. Um, but you can't run them for longer than six hours, I think it is. I don't know. I've never had one, but apparently you're not supposed to run them for longer than a certain amount of hours and if you do that they will last 10 times longer but uh the gas you can see that heats up pretty quick that's why i like it but sometimes it, it the metal will be way hotter than it really needs to be and that could have been why it took a little while for this to cool down i don't know still trying to figure all that out i bought one of those little guns where you can just it's like a little laser gun and it tells you the temperature but i bought one it doesn't work for for shit so i got another one and even that one doesn't work all that great, so I don't know. I used to just try to do that and just measure the temperature to know if it was up to hot enough, but I kind of have the timing down just from doing it for a while, but, but yeah, the gas is quicker. And I, I think the electric furnace, man, I don't know. I know there's people, I've sat and watched live streams and they've had it like heating up and heating up and it seems like it took at least a half hour 45 minutes for it to get to temperature yeah i got i got me a metal detector and i got my daughter one and we went in ocean city for the first time about two years ago now and i haven't used it since she found a quarter on the beach and then i found a bunch of bottle tops <laughs> i didn't really find much of anything but it was cool that she found a quarter and it was the quarter for 2020. So she found a 2020 quarter in 2020, the first time that we went hunting. So I thought that was pretty cool or detecting, but yeah, I'm going to break that out. I got cheap ones though. I didn't spend a bunch of money on the good ones. I just got something that wasn't the cheapest, but it was pretty inexpensive because I wanted to know that I could take something like that, like and not have to spend an arm and a leg. That was a video I wanted to try to make is, Hey, I bought this, relatively inexpensive metal detector and look what I found, you know, because I think what it is is that only goes like six to eight inches into the ground, whereas other ones will go 12 to a foot and a half maybe. And then it tells you like the different types of metals that you're looking for. Mine just kind of beeps. So yeah, I don't know. I probably should have spent a little bit more money. I think one was 120 and then one was like 80. So definitely the cheaper side, but if it works, it works, right? Like, I think those would be great for sand. But when it comes to, like, dirt, they might not be all that great. Should reward, what do you use? What kind of metal detector do you have? And do you have a gas furnace or do you have an electric furnace? I will tell you that it, it does suck in the summertime when it's hotter than shit and it's like 100 degrees and I'm in Maryland. It, it, I mean, I have water on three sides of me. I'm on a peninsula, so like it is so hot in the summer. Like I walk to my truck and I'm sweating by the time I get there in the driveway. It's just so humid around here. And I know that has a lot to do with how pores work sometimes. Silver Oceans was talking about how he was getting, you ever see that with the shiny, he had like a, some shiny looking rounds, 
And I was like, dude, I get that all the time. He was acting like it was something that hardly ever happens. And I'm like, man, I've had that happen so many times. I thought it was just kind of a normal thing. I think it has to do with the humidity. But, um, but yeah, they do look cool. But I've always just kind of cleaned them up. I was thinking about trying to leave a couple like that just to see. But apparently it rubs off eventually too, which I didn't know. But, um... I had a point before that, and I forgot what it was. Let me get back to these. I'm trying to catch up on the. Uh... You like this the torch stand, Scuba Steve? Yeah, I made two of them out of pallet wood, and some of it is like this Chinese, like hard wood. They're they're red, and it's like a real hard red wood. I got a bunch of that stuff. I I probably had thirty pallets that I broke down and cut up and got all the nails out. So behind my shed, I have a whole pile of wood ready to go. I built an eight foot by four foot raised garden bed. And then I built another one for my um, grapes, which is like two foot by three foot. And then still got all this leftover stuff. So I'll be making something at some point with it. That coin stand, somebody wanted me to make a coin stand for them like I made. Um, so I might make one from scratch. Instead of buying the dollar store piece and then making it a stand. Use ATP Pro. Yeah, I feel like that's expensive. You have a detector in your attic. <laughs> that's, that, that's about me. It's not in the attic, but it's in the closet. It's been sitting there for two years. Thanks, Invisible River. Oh, you were talking to ATS. Okay, I get it. So we can tell you mine came with everything and a pinpointer. Yeah, I bought a pinpointer separately. That one, I did get the good one, the orange. Um, I don't remember the names of them, man. I feel like it begins with a C. But I know the pinpointer I got was pretty good. Best sound ever. You're talking about when I put it into the water. I'm really behind on these comments. 900 bucks, man. That's crazy. Yeah, it's been 120. You'll probably find a lot more stuff than I will. <laughs> I'll be finding pool tabs and bottle caps and everything but... I found a bolt on the beach that one day. You like it set of stacks? Awesome. But y'all are like, when are you going to weigh this damn thing? Good detail for open pour. Yeah. It's, uh, it's different when you're doing it open. I don't really like doing it like that, but I wanted to see what it would look like. 2.75, 2.53, 2 2.73. Let's see what we got here. What did I say? 2.89? Can you read it? Damn, I was way off. Almost two and a half. 2.49. She rewards. She knows her stuff. She was pretty close. I think she's done a lot more pours than me. How many ounces would you say you've poured for anybody that's in here that pours? I am about 220 something probably. I bought two kilos. I bought 50 ounces and I bought 100 ounces. And that was all shot. And I'm pretty much almost out this is about what i got left plus the good stuff i always put aside and do you guys do that i always take all the pieces that stick together or the big pieces ones that look cooler than this and i put them into a separate jar which i have one of these about three quarters of the way full so i do have that i just hate to use it because it's been a collection kind of thing and then you got this masterpiece look at this bad boy <laughs> I 
I wonder what that weighs. I'm always doing this. Anytime I have a piece of anything, I'm like, what does it weigh? What does it weigh? Dang, 1.02. I thought it'd be under that. Just try toning something real quick. You posted a couple, Steve, I have to check it out. Nothing special or specific. It's all good. Yeah, cup and torch, see if you like it. See how the metal works, you know, like when you get to a certain temperature and you know you're swishing it around and just know that I don't know, it's just it's a good way to learn, I think. And it's relatively inexpensive. I mean, no matter what you do on a furnace, you're going to be spending 250 on any kind of, you know, they start at around 250. I think I might have seen one for like 239 at one point. But I think I paid about 250 for the Devil Forge. Now, if you are going to get one, I would go a little bit bigger than the one I got. That way you can do bigger stuff. I wish I had, because I can't put, I, I don't know if it's number 10 or number 8. I don't know. I have some bigger ones, but they're so close that I really don't try to use them. I probably could use them, but there's not a whole lot of room on each side of it. But get it to where you can do up to like a number 10. Pour some motorcycle parts. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to not get the indent though, Cherie. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why it always does that. Not always. That's what I mean. It doesn't always do it, so I can figure out why or how. Most of the time, I don't really care. Like, on that piece, it's not a big deal, but on that guitar, I want it to be right. Yeah, that'd be cool to metal detect that all thing silver. Something from back in the 50s, you know, if you find any coinage, it's going to be silver. Yeah, any, any place where there's a general store or gas station, those are great places. The hotter the better, poor, fast ass fuck. like it for what I use it for. It does take time to heat up. It gives me time to make my sand cap. Yeah, if you know what you're doing and, and know how much it's going to weigh and everything, get it ready, put it in. Like, I, I can see how that could work. The problem is, what if you have, like, a couple things you want to do and you do one and you, you can't really, it's something where you don't want to guess it. Like, you want it to be right on whatever that weight is. Then you're kind of like waiting forever. Do you lose a lot with the electric? Maybe you don't lose as much as, um, well, I guess that's more of the cup things anyway for me. I'm always losing it when I do it in the cup. You always lose a, a point or two. Whipping dish, that's what I'm always, the word I can never remember. Sheree Ward, what is the thing called? It's a bowl, and you can, that's how you stamp, right? It's like a round bowl, and you heat it up with a torch, then you put your piece in it, and it 
it makes a mold basically of the piece so you can stamp. I need to get one of those. A jeweler's something. I can build a house with square nails I find. <laughs> Danger said he poured about 700 ounces. Damn. Yeah, it took me about three years to do 220. I think I have, I've melted down a few rounds too here and there. But, um, yeah, it, it's not something I was doing every day. That's why I'm, I'm trying to go live every Tuesday and Thursday that way. I'm pouring something at least twice a week, but um, I'm probably going to be doing it five days a week, if not seven. I'm going to have another auction on the 5th, so I want to have an, enough stuff to go in that as well. And a lot of the old stuff I made that really isn't that great, I have some mess ups, but I always keep everything because I was learning. So I think I'm finally going to melt some of that other stuff down. You refine your loss. How do you do it? You take it somewhere or do you do it? Stamping is my struggle, man, I hear you. Shreve Ward, she, she's an OG, she don't even know. She's like, Psh, thousands. <laughs> but yeah, I think this looks pretty cool. It's got a couple little, little dents in it, I guess, because it was open. But it looks kind of cool. Something different. We can see if anybody's interested in the live stream on the 5th. I don't know. Well, we're losing people. I should probably get off here soon, I guess. That way I can get you guys your uh, tracking numbers. time is it? Damn it, six o'clock. I didn't realize it was that late. Shroom Day sent me some plastic BBs that you melt and use to stamp, but I haven't used them. I don't know what that is. All right, Danger. I appreciate you stopping by. I'm going to, um, I'm gonna be getting off here soon too. I don't know if I'm subscribed to you. I might have to uh, check you out afterwards. I wish there was a way to put the comments. How do you get the comments in the playback? I don't know why they stopped doing that. Otherwise, somebody watches this later, they're just gonna be hearing me talk. They can't see what people were saying. There's gotta be a way to change that. Yeah, I'll be back on Thursday. I'm going to try definitely on Thursday to be going by two. I was a little bit late today because I got kind of caught up a little bit and then making sure I shipped everything out and having everything done. Um, so, yeah, Thursday, 2 o'clock, we'll be back. And uh, pour something one way or another, unless it's raining, then we could do something in here. I might try to go out into the shed and start a live out there and see if maybe... It doesn't end up going blurry and then I'll know if I can do some some stuff out there um, but the router is downstairs and my back door to the basement is a metal door and I don't know if that's messing with it it's having a hard time getting out there but like, I can watch videos out there I don't, I don't know why it's being weird but I don't know but yeah I'll see you guys on Thursday we'll be back and uh, do something I'll, I'll have something lined up and ready to go by the time I start so uh, maybe I'll have something ready to pour and then we'll do some more sand casting and then pour that as well so we can kind of go back and forth I might even bring the cup out and and use or the whipping dish maybe I'll use that and do something as well a little smaller something one or two ounce and then you can see how that works how long it takes putting the flame to it, you know, if you're interested in, in picking up something like that, you'll know. It takes a little while. Sometimes you're sitting there like, uh, come on. <laughs>
and then it'll get melted on one side. A lot of times what happens is, like say this is shot, right? You'll be melting it. I have one torch that stays on it and then another torch that I go back and forth. Well, I'll start here and then go over here and come back and keep trying to keep it even, go to the back of it and trying to, because if you start over here, it'll melt it down. The whole thing will look like it's melted, but it's not underneath. So you got to do that and you got to start kind of doing this, whipping it around a little bit and heating everything up, making sure this stays nice and hot right here. So when you pour it, and then I keep a torch on it the whole time. But So I'll do something, that way you guys can learn a little bit from that. And uh, Steve, I think you should get one just to, just to start it out. I didn't, I went and bought a furnace. I bought everything. I spent like $2,000 on just buying everything I could possibly need. And a lot of it I don't even use. So yeah, I, was, I wouldn't suggest that. <laughs> Well, yeah, out Thursday, we'll do something in the dish. We'll do something. Even if I have to do it out here outside, we'll do it. But um, maybe I'll try to go live at some point from the shed in the next day or two and just see if it works. But, um, but yeah. All right, guys. I'll see you guys on Thursday. It's getting a little late. And um, I'll send all the, the, the uh, tracking numbers out to everybody so that you have it. And uh, keep an eye out over the next couple days. You should be getting your orders if you place the order with me on Friday. So, uh, but yeah, other than that, I appreciate you stopping by. Hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.